I'm gonna get so sunburned out here. This is not good. I hope my phone doesn't overheat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Maybe you need the hat. Okay, I really gotta poop now. Wait, what am I even saying? I need to like, I need a script. Somebody give me a script, pronto. That dog is so cute. Darn you and your driveways. My phone is like gonna melt. Oh my God, it's already 18 minutes. Oh God. Yay, my car isn't towed. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is so wonderful to have you here. This is my very first. I have realized that I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm not just gonna stop with one. This is my very first coffee shop review video. First things first. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Why wouldn't you want to? Someone asked me, oh, are you just gonna get like the same standard thing at every single place and then just review that one thing and see how well they did that? And like, well, yes, that would be a good way to measure. I don't even get the same thing at Starbucks. I can't just pick one thing and stick to that. When my mood changes, my appetite changes. I just got different things everywhere I went and I will continue to do that. There is a wasp. It's not bothering me. It's not bothering me. I'm sure it's just as hot as I am out here. Do bugs get sunburn? Okay, that's a I don't know what kind of- that is a good- that's a pretty good question though. I've been kind of like on off recording these for like the past couple of weeks or so. I was just doing it for fun and then I decided to get a little serious because I take my coffee pretty- oh my god. They're not gonna hurt you Rachel, it's nature, this is their home. So these are the criteria that I decided on. Ice, and the only reason I included ice is because I believe that coffee bean should get a point, like an extra point for their ice. Next up we have vibes, very important. You can really encompass a lot with the word vibes. Friendliness and warmth of staff, decor, and just vibes are vibes. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't understand vibes, then efficiency, that's pretty self-explanatory. And flavor, that's a pretty general category. I'm gonna show you all the clips from like vlogging when I went to these places and then I'm gonna cut back to me so that you can see me kind of explain a little bit more in depth. Let's start off with Starbucks because I feel like that's a solid base. Good morning. I, I tried to do this during the week but that didn't really work out because I was at work. When I go to work, it always just sits there and it melts and I was at work, so I couldn't film this. Duh. This is what I got. It's a cold brew with white mocha, my favorite syrup to get, and salted cream foam. I feel like it's gross to watch people eat things, so I'm just gonna cut this part out. What can I say about Starbucks that like the world doesn't already know? You have aided my caffeine addiction. I don't really know how to feel about that. Starbucks won for regular ice. There's nothing wrong with your ice, but there's nothing spectacular about it. In terms of vibes, it's a zero to five scale. I'm gonna give Starbucks a four. The vibes are always on point. The branding, everything, like you've got it pretty much down pat. Like it's, it's pretty solid, the vibes there. Everything's on a scale of zero to five except for ice. Efficiency, I'm gonna give Starbucks a five because they are spectacular. In terms of flavor, I will give them a four because sometimes things aren't perfect. Next up, I'm going to review Dunkin' just because that is, I don't know if that's their top competitor. I should probably look into that. Actually, I don't care. Hi guys. Ew, I look rough. I figure if I'm gonna do Starbucks in this coffee review, I gotta do Dunkin' and then I'm gonna dive into the nitty gritty and do like specific LA coffee places. So that's where I'm going. Their parking lot is like really small. So I just had to park down on the street. <laughs> okay, Ugh. I am sweating. It was packed. I looked, cause I was trying to find my order number in the app. So I found my order number and I realized it was 851 and she was calling like 864. And I was like, oh, well then mine must be ready. And I had gone up to the counter and checked. And then I realized I had a separate whole shelf and mine was sitting right there. It looks so pretty. It's basically a vanilla cold brew with pumpkin cream cold foam. Yay, my car isn't towed. Um, only thing is, I don't have a straw. That dog is so cute. Also, I bought a dress yesterday for like a wedding rehearsal dress. A, di a dinner, what is it called? Dinner rehearsal? Wedding dinner. Rehearsal dinner. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see how this is. That is very pumpkin spicy. I definitely need a straw, but I don't have one. I'll catch you when I'm at home and I have a straw. Okay, now that this is all mixed together, this is not good. It's not even sweet. Like I can't taste any vanilla. It's like they didn't put any vanilla in it. It tasted moldy to me. It was gross. Some of you may be like, Rachel, that's not fair. You got this drink at this place. You can't get this drink in compare. You gotta be ready. Listen up coffee places in LA. You gotta be ready for whatever I'm about to order. And it better be or Duncan, I'm gonna give them a one regular ice. Vibes on a zero to five, I'm gonna give a zero. The vibes in there, like, 
eh, it wasn't a vibe. So I'm just gonna give it a zero. I'm sorry if that's harsh. Efficiency, I'm going to give a three because Duncan's always pretty efficient. Everyone was standing around waiting and I was confused and that was confusing, but I got my drink on time, ahead of time, if I had known it was sitting there. And then in terms of flavor, um, just based on that drink alone, I'm gonna give it a one out of five as that drink not only tasted bad, but it tasted moldy. And that's freaking disgusting. I can't believe I even gave it a one out of five. I gave it a one because of our history, but we are going to move to Coffee Bean. Good morning, everybody. It's like not even 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Right now I'm walking to Coffee Bean. I feel like getting hazelnut iced coffee because Starbucks doesn't even have hazelnut. That's what's happening. As expected, delicious. What's interesting about coffee bean versus Starbucks is Starbucks. Why do I keep saying Starbucks? Oh my god. Starbucks uses like syrups. Coffee bean uses powder. See how amazing these ice cubes are? Ice, I'm gonna give you a two because I love your freaking ice. For vibes, I'm going to. Why did I give them a two out of five? Probably because the people in there aren't nice and the people going there aren't that great yeah the, the yeah yeah i'd say their vibes are a two out of five efficiency i'm gonna give you a one out of five because they're always behind the drive through makes me late for work otherwise i would go there more often flavor i'm going to give a four out of five because i love it next up let's do phil's coffee hi guys it is me again i am driving to phil's coffee i have passed by it many times but i'm always in culver city at night usually not in the morning time so i never had the need to get coffee i thought pete's and phil's was the same thing because they're both names that start with p i don't know if there's a pete's coffee i need to try i don't know but we'll see we'll see It is a gorgeous day outside. Um, I already took a couple sips. I feel like I would need to mix it around some more. They put all of the drinks in these. This is iced even though it looks hot, but it's good. Everyone working there is so friendly. I got filtered soul, which is a kind of hazelnut creation of theirs, iced with medium oat milk and light sugar. Maybe I need to mix it around some more or, or add a little bit more sugar and, and it's perfect. Their ice, just a regular one. Vibes, four out of five. Same as Starbucks, like you have your own unique theme. Everyone in there was super friendly. Efficiency, I'm gonna give you a five out of five because that was very efficient. It, it seemed a little busy, but like it took like maybe a minute, so good job. And flavor, I'm also gonna give out a, a four out of five. So you're honestly tied with Starbucks, Phil's. Next up, I will review <laughs> the coffee that I get at my workplace. Okay, my day started off kind of grumpy because I had to park and we have this complicated parking garage system downstairs. This one car on the right was over on the line and then there was a woman sitting in her car to the left of me. I couldn't park as close to my line on the right so I parked slightly closer to the left. And then I saw her like disgruntled get out of her car and then complained to the parking guys working there so then the parking guy came up to me and asked me to move but then i got coffee this is coffee from downstairs in the lobby where i work clearly so it's not really rating them but rather the brand of coffee which is govina coffee this is a ice blended coffee vanilla and it is so good for ice i'm just gonna give them a regular one um, vibes, I'm gonna give them a zero because it's just a cafe with- It's not a coffee place, it's a cafe and it's at my workplace, so who wants to go to work? If my boss sees this, I love my job. Efficiency, I'm gonna give them a five because they always make whatever you want right after you ask for it. <laughs> um, flavor, I'm gonna give it a four because it's so good, so good job. Next up, I'm going to review Alfred's mm. love. Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to go pick up my order at Alfred's on Abbott Kinney. I have been there three times, three or four times now already. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test right here. Iced latte, two shot. Look how good this looks. <gasps> that looks so good. If there's too much oat milk, I need to mix it up or I don't like it. That's really good. That's so not graceful. Goodbye. <laughs> if you want to know about the blueberry muffin, the gluten-free blueberry muffin, I'll do a little taste test for you right now. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Mm. Mm. There ain't nothing like you. Ice, one out of two. Vibes, I'm gonna give you a five. Why did I give them a five? I'm gonna give them like a four. Sorry. 
but I like the colors. I like the theme. What's the theme? Wait, I always thought the like symbol was moose antlers. Is that right or no? I don't know. Efficiency, I'm gonna give you a one out of five because even when you're picking up, they're super, super busy like all the time. I'll stand there and stand there and like, I don't wanna bother you. They don't call out the names. Like, I don't know, it just takes forever. Flavor, I'm gonna give you a four to five. And like, that's also because you have a gluten-free blueberry muffin. So thank you. It's the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Next up, we are going to do Blue Bottle. I went there today. You guys just missed it, but this person literally just went around me on double yellow just to cut around me because I didn't hit the gas pedal hard enough right when the light turned green. What is wrong with people here? The drivers were fine when I first got here. Now all of a sudden, like this month, everyone's going wackadoodle. It's a Saturday morning. We can all calm down. Just enjoy life. Have fun. Where you gotta be that you're rushing off to in such a hurry. That guy was cute. Was he? I, I don't know. He, maybe he was just wearing a hoodie. <laughs> where am I going? Blue bottle. That's where I'm going. I have a good feeling about this. Um, I don't know how long I was standing there waiting, but it was a really long time, so this better be worth it. The people in there were very nice. Um, it just is bopping. I just got an iced latte with whatever their sweetener is called. They didn't have like flavors. They just have this one sweetener that starts with an M, I think. I don't know. Oh, and I got it with oat milk. That is really good espresso. Hold up. That is really good. That flavor, what the freaking heck? Ice, one out of two, regular ice. Oh, there should also be a category for like cups because Phil's and Blue Bottle both had regular paper cups. I actually like that better than plastic. I don't know if that's better for the planet or whatever. I wonder if that affects like the taste or anything. Vibes, I gave a three out of five just cause it was super busy. And it's just another small like storefront basic kind of thing. It's just literally a blue bottle. Efficiency, I'm gonna give a one. I mean, like they were just super busy, but the people were really nice who worked there and they also had a microphone. So maybe I'll give, maybe I'll give them a two for efficiency. For flavor, I'm gonna give you a five because I've never been that impressed by an espresso before. It was that good. I usually don't get lattes. I usually will get a cold brew or whatever. What? That was amazing. I actually drank the whole thing. Like I couldn't get enough of it. Oh my God. Next up, I'm going to review Lil Ripper. This is an Australian place that I went to with my friend Steph. She suggested it. Smile. <laughs> Hi. That was a sad clap. Hi. I just got back from coffee at Little, what is it called? Little Rippers. We got coffee, we got some toast. It was great. I got this lavender, it was called the Little Ripper Classic or something. It's their homemade almond milk, two shots of espresso, and I think that's it. I'm gonna give them a one for ice, regular. Two for vibes because you couldn't even walk in the store. Like there was barely any space. It was just kind of on a random street. And then efficiency, I'm gonna give you a two because you were not even that busy. And and it took a while to get our stuff. For flavor, I'm gonna give you a three. Although, honestly, I'm gonna give you a two, actually. I'm gonna give you a two, I'm sorry. But I didn't even taste the coffee. It was just straight up like I was eating a piece of actual lavender. And I like lavender, but like not that much. So it's a two out of five for me. For my ninth place, this video, I went to Good Boy Bob. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go drive someplace, maybe Culver City and try some new place there, just for fun, just for kicks. <laughs> so I made it back to Culver City. There's a place called Super Domestic Coffee, which got 4.5 stars on Yelp, I think. I'm just trying to find parking now. We'll see. Is there parking? No. Is there parking here? No, that's a driveway. Ah, darn you and your driveways. Oh, he's leaving. No, that's his driveway. <laughs> he lives there. Whoop. Just cursed. Is this coffee parking? Is this, what? That's, that's, this is where people live. Ah. If I can't find a spot on the two residential, no, it's not happening. We're going somewhere else. Really bad location for a coffee place. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the police department. I can't park there. I can make something up. No, we're not gonna do that. All right, I'm parking in this garage I've never parked in before, but it says there are spots. Also, I now have to poop. Uh, we're here. Goodbye. <laughs> This is an iced Americano with vanilla. Ice, just regular, one out of two. Vibes were a three because it was kind of cool inside there. Efficiency, I'm gonna give you a four because it wasn't super busy and you got my drink out. Flavor, I'm gonna give you a one out of five. It just, it 
was watery. It wasn't impressive. Just wasn't great. I don't know what to tell you. That is that. Those are the nine first coffee places I have reviewed for you. Any things you would like me to cover in the next coffee video, let me know. Comment down below because this is only the beginning, folks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time for my next coffee video. Oh, and make sure to subscribe.